Hi, I'm Brett from MRT and this is another quick video update on my phone for you to give you information on a gearbox transmission upgrade. Now, what we're looking at here today is the Subaru 6 b transmission in the non-STI performance models. Now, this is the enhanced old 5-speed case, which you can see behind me here. And what Subaru has effectively done is squeeze an extra gear into this transmission, which commonly is available in the current model Liberty Legacy GT, Forrester, Turbo Diesel, and those types of models. And it's easily recognizable because it's got an absolutely shocking uh, shift mechanism via a cable mechanism. So I'll get my cameraman to come up close here, and you can see what is typically in some situations called the H gear. You can see where all the gears are broken, and this is what it should look like, as in the brand new gear. And these are the components we've dismantled. The one thing I wanted to remind you is when you're suspicious of a damaged gearbox in your car, stop driving it because one of the most expensive repairs, other than the broken gears, are these bearings which have to be replaced um, if you keep driving your car because all the little nasty broken bits go through all the bearing assembly and destroy all the bearings and then you can spend quite a lot of money replacing the bearings as well as the broken parts in your box. Thankfully, this box, I can tell you, when it broke with one of my service crew guys at uh, Rally Perth earlier on this year on a transport stage, they stopped straight away and we towed the car and the bearings were all in really good condition. Just a lot of lumpy bits come out of the bottom of the box. So here we have here is a synchro ring assembly. And what a lot of people don't realise is in a constant mesh gearbox, which I'll show you in a minute, is how the synchro rings work with the friction surfaces inside the parts that slide in and out of gear to allow you to change gears and this is the part here when you have crunching gears that is actually worn out because this is a sacrificial part it's almost like a clutch assembly when you change gears this grips that hub which is then connected to the drive gear and this part here then engages the synchro assembly onto the main dogs which are part of the main driven gears and effectively it's not this is not the, it goes on like that and this is the part that slides inside the gearbox on the fork mechanism which I can show you over here so in a five old five speed transmission and the upgraded six speed version of what we call the five speed case there are a clamshell design so you pull it apart like this this is where the engine is and this is where the tail shaft is and in the middle you've got the I'll get my cameraman to come up close. The part that's connected to the clutch driven plate comes through the driven gears and then all that assembly there sits sort of in here with all the parts sliding onto it and then they're in constant mesh and you can see here the other broken matching gear for the part that we've already dismantled and the drive is transferred to the output side of the box and then out the back here you've got the center differential or center viscous assembly which in the case of my rally, Subaru Forester rally car is a viscous assembly which is quite common and then out the back you've got the tail shaft but then through the center of this assembly here sits like this is the drive coming forward from the diff through the center of that shaft to the front differential and when that turns that drives the differential for the front axles that go to your front wheels. Now, in a Subaru situation, unfortunately, obviously, when you break something, there's another matching gear that breaks, and that is the thing that you need to stop. And when I was talking about the sliding mechanism on your gears, when you change gears, all of this here slides backwards and forwards, and this selector shaft is what slides on this part here. It's probably not the right one, but anyway, it's a good example. That part slides backwards and forwards when you move the gears in and out between those that mechanism here, which is actually on a Subaru connected to the bottom of the gear stick assembly. And that is what allows you to change gears. On the back of the box here is this whole assembly inside there, which sits the, the diff. And then on the back of that is the transfer gears and what you'll recognize is the part that goes to the tail shaft. Now, these transfer gears are critical, of one of the critical components that need to be matched to your gearbox when you're changing a transmission upgrade 
or replacing your transmission in your car to match the rear diff ratio because if you get all this final drive wrong between the front diff, the centre diff, transfer gears and the rear diff, you can end up with a situation where you can picture this like having a 20 inch wheel on one side of your rear axle and a 15 inch wheel on the other side. One side will spin faster than the other and the diff in the middle eventually overheat and damage. Well, that can happen in a Subaru transmission as well if you get the wrong rear diff ratio matched to the wrong front diff ratio. And these transfer gears also, depending on the year and age of your car, the bearings in those on some model Subarus are what generate road noise. So there you have it, a quick synopsis of what to look for of a five-speed, six-speed transmission. If it's the upgraded six-speed transmission, and it works in a similar way, but the design is all completely different. And I'll just show you here that we haven't cleaned this part of the box yet, but you'll see all those horrible little metal bits there are the broken parts of the gears that have gone through the box and hopefully haven't done any other damage to the bearings on this side. And the drain at the bottom here is where all the big lumpy bits stick. And then as you can see right there, that's actually a broken tooth. So I'll put that where my guys can clean it all up. So there you have it, a quickie update on how a Subaru transmission works. One of the things that we do is obviously the upgrades and repairs ourselves. This will be in my rally car as a spare for the next week's World Rally Championship in Coffs Harbour here in New South Wales. Hopefully you get a chance to see this video and come up and watch the Coats Hire Rally in Coffs Harbour and all the other World Rally Cars are going to be a fantastic event. But for now, make a comment here on my video channel, send us an email, pick up the phone or wherever you are in the world. I hope this has helped you learn a little bit more about your car. I'm Brent Middleton. Thanks for watching.